Get to the chopper! What is going on YouTube? This video was requested by a subscriber that I explain in detail. Yes, you guys deserve an explanation for my class setup that I've been using for my KD Ratio Map Guide series. Now before I get into it, I want to make it clear that my playstyle is defensive and tactical and I swear by this class setup that it has given me constant success in conjunction with the strategy guides I've been posting. So if you haven't seen them, I suggest you go take a look at them so you can see me using this class in action. And I'm not the best gamer in the world. I don't have the best reaction timing or accuracy so this is the best defensive strategic class setup that i've created to cater to my playstyle and strategies they have worked really well to my advantage and i haven't looked back since and it'll help you out if you're an average gamer or looking for other ways to improve so first of all most of the maps are huge and you're gonna want to use an assault rifle of your choice use whatever weapon you're comfortable with now here i'm using the honey badger and let me tell you this weapon is a beast it is overpowered but it will get you kills a lot quicker kill or be killed you know what i mean the great thing about this weapon is that it already comes equipped with a silencer and i don't like showing up on the radar anyway so this was a huge plus for me and since i have shitty accuracy i use both the foregrip to give me less recoil when i shoot at the enemy and red dot sight for precision aiming and the reticle is up to you i don't know if it's a psychological thing but i found that when i used the danny reticle i had a lot more success compared to the regular red dot now secondary i didn't choose one for the strategies I use, you, you don't really need one, so I didn't set one up. Now, the lethal and tactical equipment, I'd say, are the most important. They will put you one step ahead of the enemy, and if you use the IED and motion sensor correctly, they can get you kills and save your life when you have your back turned, and they will also give you awareness when an enemy is around, and they are extremely helpful. In almost all of my strategy guide videos, there are multiple times that they've come in handy and have led to many kills and kill streaks because of these. As for perks, I'm using using ready up because in a game like call of duty if you get caught with your gun down you're going to be at a disadvantage when an enemy appears out of nowhere so using this perk will help you get a kill faster or have an equal chance at getting a kill when you know you're in a 1v1 situation then i have off the grid i never go without this perk ever you hear me? This is the first perk I unlocked because your enemies will constantly use satcoms because they're so easy to get and staying off the radar will help you avoid being tracked down by the enemy and it helps you avoid dying when you're going for killstreaks or you're trying to flank enemies. Next we have scavenger. I love this perk because it replenishes my ammo and I won't have to resort to picking up a weapon I'm not used to especially if it doesn't have a silencer then that's bad news because you'll be exposed on the radar. And a little side tip if you want to hire KD, stick to a weapon you're comfortable with and stay with it. If things are going positively for you, then don't fix it if it ain't broke. Now these last two perks, extra tactical and lethal, are very important, especially if you're always holding down an area like I do. Your equipment will eventually run out, but it helps you hold out long enough until you get your first kill streak, which leads me to the IMS. This will replace your IED and or motion sensor. If you place it in the right spots, you can get a lot of kills with this. Now my second kill streak is the sentry gun because again it's serving the same purpose as my equipment. It watches my back and covers more ground at the same time and if you place it in the optimal spots it'll get you more kills. Another side note is if you want to make sure you don't die as much I would recommend using kill streaks that don't require you to hide somewhere you know lay prone and use the laptop. You guys know what I'm talking about. It makes you vulnerable since the enemy can find you and kill you. Now, I prefer to have my own kill streaks do the work so that I can concentrate on getting more kills at the same time my streaks are getting kills for me and obviously this is going to get you more kills. Now the last kill streak is entirely up to you but I prefer the battle hind over the helo pilot depending on the situation. <laughs> yeah get to the chopper because it's not too hard to get and it'll get you a good amount of kills and you don't have to hide anywhere to use it and if you really want to you could flank the enemies in the buildings that they hide in to get more kills and force them to respawn on the outside which allows your battle hind to to target them better. If you're going for a high KD ratio, using lower kill streaks and using them effectively will help you get more kills faster because you can easily recycle these streaks. Now what I mean by that is it'll be easy to get them over and over again. Anyways, I hope I didn't leave anything out and I hope this was helpful. If there's any questions, feel free to ask. Again, this class setup is for the defensive minded and tactical minded player. It's not meant for rushing. Give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you don't subscribe, I hope you'll leave enough room for my fist because I'm gonna ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Yeah!